Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video. Um, this was actually a Instagram kind of like 30 day challenge. I think it was also on Tumblr. I'm not sure. But, um, I wanted to bring it to YouTube because I don't do enough, um, cosplay stuff on here. Well, I don't think I do. Um, so I'm going to do the cosplay rewind tag. And so it'll be 30 questions. And that way you get to know a little bit more about me, my cosplay, my cosplay plans, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So question number one is, what was your first cosplay? My first cosplay technically was Lady Gaga because I am obsessed with Lady Gaga. And I created, I've created a bunch of her outfits. Um, I will include a picture here yeah so that was like my first like jump into cosplay I guess um but my first like official like anime um manga um cosplay was Yui from Angel Beats which I will yeah um that anime messed me up, <laughs> but I love her so much, um, and of course, like, right before the con, my cat, uh, the cat, well, the cat that I had, um, destroyed the wig, so, yeah, <laughs> but that was, like, my first, like, official, like, anime, um, cosplay, I've, like, cosplayed, like, I guess it's not cosplay if it's like celebrities or something, but I consider it cosplay. How many costumes have you done? Um, I have no idea. Okay, so I just went uh, through my phone and I've done 32 cosplays. Holy crap. Um, yeah, I've done 32 cosplays. Um... What is your most recent cosplay? It is my Cyber Hanio from Love Live. That was like, seriously, like my dream cosplay and I got to create it so I was like, so, so happy about that. Your cosplay communities, where do you go to talk about cosplay? Um, I have my little group of cosplay friends, friend Heather, uh, my friend Domi, my friend Laura, uh, like, those are, like, the three, like, main people that I, like, drag into cosplay groups and stuff, <laughs> like, um, yeah, like, I don't really have a huge, like, community of people just because I'm really kind of nervous around a lot of people just because I'm still a newbie um, in the cosplay community. I've only been doing this since, like, 2014 I started, so four years. So I'm still a noob. Um, but honestly, I love everyone that I meet at cons, but those are, like, my three, like, the three people that I'm usually like, you want to do a group cosplay? <laughs> and like, I'll be like, hey, you've been doing cosplay for like, ever, help. <laughs> uh, blatant self plug. Link us to your cosplay page and be deviant art, whatever. Um, I'll have all my links below if you want to check me out. I post a lot on my Instagram, like, normal stuff, and then cosplay stuff, so if you're following me on Instagram, you probably have seen that, but, uh, in the cosplay community, I go by Akiko Kawaii, um, I kind of thought about changing my name, but everybody likes me as that name, because I kind of wanted to do a different name, something more gender fluid, but everybody likes me as Akiko Kawaii, so it's like, okay. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite cosplay that you've done? Honeyo. I love Honeyo. My Honeyo Cyber is, I mean, it's gonna have to be, like, top tier. Probably another Honeyo cosplay to, like, top that, honestly. 
uh, the character that you cosplay that is most similar to you, Hanayo, again, she's really shy until she, like, gets to know people and then she just blabs on. Um, she loves to eat. And she's just, like, she loves her friends. Like, her friends are her entire world. And... I just really relate to Hanayo a lot, and she is, like, best girl. So, yeah. Um, your cosplay plans for the rest of the year. So this year, I plan on going to three cons this year. A con, which will be in Texas, which will be my second out-of-state con, which I will vlog. Um, Dragon Con, hopefully. Question mark, question mark. If I have the money. Um, and AWA and my lineup I already have a lineup for all three cons well kinda um for Acon and AWA Dragon Con because it's kind of a eh um it's kind of a mint like eh at this point so for Acon I'm doing Kanan from Kobayashi Dragon Maid I'm doing stocking um with my friend Domi as Panty, and we're doing painting and stocking. I am doing Mitsuki from Boruto, and my friend Domi is doing Daddy Orochimaru. And then I will be doing Hinata um, from Naruto. I'm going to do from her outfit from the last movie for. Dragon Con, all I have so far is Cyber Haneo, which I'm going to revamp, and Angela from Magnus Bride, which I I love it so much. They are doing so good with the anime, and I'm so impressed. It's worth the wait. And for AWA, I'm going to do um, Angela and Cyber Haneo, Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club, and Maybe I might do May from Overwatch. I'm not sure. Um, still kind of iffy about that. Ooh. Dream cosplay that might just happen. Um, can I just do every Hanio cosplay? Because that's like, yes. Like, I need to cosplay every Hanio cosplay. Like, ever. There's also, um, I do want to do. Co bleh, bleh. I do want to cosplay Mia from Monster Masume um, with the whole like tail and everything. I think that would be so freaking incredible to do. And I have friends that have done it, and I'm like, can I pick your brain? Because oh, just oh, I want to be a monster girl. Like, like I want to grow up to be a monster girl. That's how weird I am. Um, also. I want to do another J Dragon cosplay because baby boy is my life. Um, and I kind of want to do a Kill a Kill cosplay. Like, there's so many outfits I want to do from Kill a Kill, and those are like dream cosplays for like when I get thinner and lose weight and able to be like not look like a jelly roll. I don't know. Just. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> um, dream cosplay that will never happen. I never have a dream cosplay that I know will never happen because I'm going to make it happen. Because I'm going to make it happen. I don't want to have like a cosplay be like, well that will never happen. Fuck that. I'm going to make that shit happen. Like, I want it to happen. I will shine the buff and just do it. I will do it. <laughs> uh... Something cosplay related that you will never do. Example, uh, cosplay from a certain series. Um, I don't know, like, I don't care, like, if, as long as I can, like, watch the series and, like, get to know the character, I'll cosplay anything, honestly. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm never gonna do this or I'm never gonna do that because, no, um, no, like, I love... I love, I love cosplay, so anytime I get a chance to, like, make an outfit or, like, make a prop, I am so for it. I am here for it. 
Like, even if I haven't seen the series, I'm like, you know what? Give me some time. I'll watch this series, and I will make them best boy, girl, whatever. Like, it will be done. <laughs> so, I'm not going to say never. Nope. I will do whatever I want to do because I'm literally that person that's like, I'll do it. <laughs> like, um, we need someone that cosplay, like... Nina from Full Metal Alchemist, and I'll be like, I'll do it. Like, I'm literally that, that, that horrible person. <laughs> oh, please don't hate me. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm, I need help. All right. What is your cosplay idol? Well, I have three that are over there. Yaya Han, obviously. I love her. I know a lot of people don't like her, but... I love her. That's fine. You ain't gotta like her. I do. Bah. Um, no, really stay. <laughs> um, I love Stella Chu. Right there. Love her. She's so amazing. Oh my god. And my friend Mira Scarlet. She's like so freaking amazing and she's so sweet. Like, holy hell. Like, bruh. Like, she is cannon saber for life. And no one can tell me otherwise. Okay, and I'll have their links below too if you want to check them out. I'm sure you know where you can find Yaya and Stella, but I'll also have like Mira's like Twitch because she streams and she's amazing. And yes. What is your cosplay specialty? Something that you put a lot of a lot of work into your cosplay, specific series, common feature and appearance, blah blah blah. Makeup? <laughs> Um, like, I can do pretty good makeup, I have to say, for, like, cosplay and stuff. Like, I think that's, like, my signature thing is, like, the makeup for cosplay. Um, because I get a lot of people that ask me to do makeup for them for cosplay. So, I think that's, like, my niche. Um, but apparently I'm obsessed with, like, the pink-haired girls because I have a lot of like pink hair girls and like like pink and purple hair girls and like my plans of cosplays and stuff so yeah I have a lot of those um and of course characters with like blue eyes because I can't wear contacts because I have astigmatism in both eyes <laughs> and I'm like ew <laughs> It's probably why contacts will not go in my eye. Like, literally, it, it takes three days, three years to put them in my eyes. And then I'm just, like, pain and suffrage. I can't see. I'm dying. I'm hyperventilating. And I'm like, you know what? I might need Jesus. Hmm. What are some cosplay habits? Um... I play K-pop while I work. Um, I usually work on cosplay alone because nobody wants to come over and hang out. Um, but I usually blast K-pop while I work on uh, stuff. Or I will watch uh, Ghost Adventures because I love that paranormal-ish. Yeah, I, I have a problem. Um, I love me some Ghost Adventures though, so don't hate. Um, yeah. What is your least favorite thing about cosplay? All the hate. Like, all the hate, all the drama. It's like, it's not necessary in cosplay. We're all dressing up as fictional characters. Rude, you're a hater. Okay, I don't appreciate this. But anyways, um, we're all dressing up as fictional characters. Do we, we don't need to have drama, like... It's just like, if you think you are the best cosplayer of one said character and you think no one else should cosplay it, then no. Bye Felicia. No. Like, there's so much hate in this community and that's the one thing I hate about cosplay. There's so much hate, so much elitist bullshit mentality and it needs to stop. We're all a bunch of nerds dressing up, having a good time. Stop. So, why is it that you gotta have, like, drama? Like, I just, I could literally make an entire, like, four hour long video about why I hate drama. 
especially in the cosplay community, just stop. I know I'm not going to be like the one that ends it all, but seriously, like, stop with the petty drama. It's stupid. Grow the fuck up. Like, seriously, it's done. It's over. Bye. Stop. Grow up. Uh, do you belong to any cosplay groups? If so, what are they? Um, um, my Ohana group with Domi and Dion. And then my group with Heather that I always do with our little group of friendos. So those are my cosplay groups, you know. But at the, yeah, that's about it. We're still pretty awesome, so. I mean. I mean, we're pretty awesome, so, you know, um, I just, I usually stick with the same few people and cosplay with them, because, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I do love cosplaying with, like, new people and, like, people that I, like, know on Facebook and, like, branching out a bit more, but I usually just stick with my OGs and stuff. Um, what is your, oh wait, bleh, 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 bleh. what events have you cosplayed to, um, besides cons, really only cosplayed to cons, honestly, um, I'm like, pretty sure that's it, just cons, yeah, <laughs> uh, what is your best cosplay memory, hmm, I have to say, AWA last year was so much fun. No drama, no bullshit, no fake asses. It was just such a good time. I wasn't completely exhausted. Like, it was it was a lot of good, good, good time. And I just, I had a blast. Worst cosplay memory. Oh boy, I've had a few of them. Um, I think it was probably AWA of 2015, six, no, 2016. Um, the hotel staff that we had were just absolutely terrible. They treated us like complete shit. Um, and it was not a good time. Like when we tried to complain they just kind of laughed in our faces and we we're just kind of like fuck you um i had a whole video on this so if you have not seen that i'll link it below because it was a lot of oh my god it was so much bullshit and oh, i was just i was so done with that entire hotel so don't ever stay at the hyatt because they're full of bullshit why do i keep dropping my paper <laughs> I don't appreciate the shit. Keep dropping your shit. <laughs> okay. Have you won any cosplay awards? No. <laughs> I have the worst stage fright. And I, like, like my friends are like, you should enter a contest. You know, like, one of these days, you should enter a contest. And I'm like, ha ha ha, fuck no. Nope. I have the worst fucking stage fright in the entire world. Like, I will literally fucking seize up and be like, bitch, no. Nah. Like, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. No. And it's like, oh, well, maybe you could do it one day. You know, like, no. No. Well, just imagine, no. Well, no. Bye. No. I'm not doing it. No. No. <laughs> um... Show us your best cosplay derp photo. I will insert that here. I mean, honestly, I have a lot of derp photos, but I think that one's my favorite. Good stuff. <laughs> we're just, we're special. And I'm very proud of it. Um, let's see. Have you worn cosplay in a regular situation to school or work? Yeah. Um... I've worn, like, some of the jackets that I have, like, regular times, or, like, some of the more casual stuff I've worn them, like, going out and stuff, so, yeah. And, of course, I wear wigs, like, all the time, just 
for fun or doing something. I don't know. I just love, I just love dressing up. Even though I'm old, I don't care. I still love it. <laughs> Good times. Um, your most expensive cosplay. Again, Honey O Cyber because boy, that was so expensive. Ooh. <laughs> like, it's like just, just, here, you want a liver? You want a kidney? Here. For Honey O, I will do it. Um, what is your most comfortable cosplay and your most uncomfortable cosplay? My most comfortable cosplay is any guy cosplay that I have. Like, Izumi, um, from Love Stage, he was probably my most comfortable because it's like jeans and a t-shirt. And I was like, yes, I'm free. Um, and my most uncomfortable was probably, yo, oh, that's a good one. Probably my amulet spade from Shigokara, just because the damn tights kept rolling down and the shorts were rolling up, and it was just, it was, I, I love that costume, but oh my god. And probably Princess Pluto, just because everyone kept stepping on my dress, and I was like, like, I felt like the exorcist, like my head would spin, and I'm like, you stepped on my dress, do you want to die? Like, it, it was that bad. Um, but it, I think that was like the first time I wore her and then the second time when she got revamped I wore leggings underneath and I was like ah oh, this is the life so yeah um cosplay you put the most effort into <laughs> guess it's honey you so I just I love that bitch so <laughs> I love honey you so I think that's them yeah I mean there's LED lights there's like so many damn gems and crystals and oh my god, like like a good forever in a day. Yeah, on her. Do you have any unfinished cosplays and will you finish them? Yes and hopefully yes. I have Nymph from Heaven's Lost Property, which one day, Domi, one day we will do this group, damn it. Um, I have Lulu, Star Guardian Lulu from League of Legends. Um, I honestly think that's just, that's it. Um, but I will finish them one of these days. I will finish them. How many wigs do you own? Which is your favorite? I have too many wigs. I literally have three bins of wigs. Um ridiculous so I don't know I'm not gonna count I think my favorite are the blues um I have like dark blue light blue medium blue teal all the kinds of blues that you can think of and I love them but I don't I don't know how many I've stopped counting once I hit over 40 um so I'm probably in the 60 70 wig range yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> um, where do you work on your cosplays and where do you store them when they're done? I usually work in the room that I usually film in, in the other room. Um, sometimes I'll work in here, but it's just like, it's hard because my bed is literally in the middle of my room and there's not a lot of floor space. And in there there's a lot of floor space so I can work on the floor. Um, and then I just store it in my closet because I don't have anywhere else to store them. Um, and I do have, like, some bins under my bed for, like, props and stuff. So, I'll put some stuff under there, so. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, like, buy clothes anyways for myself, so I have, like, space in my closet, so it's like, why not? Um, what is your favorite cosplay item? A pair of shoes? Or a wig? I don't know. Like, I love them all. It's like picking the children. Like, I don't, I can't, I cannot choose between my children. So, I'm going to say all of them for 800 points, Alex. Um, but I do love, I do love my black combat boots, though. I really do love them. I'll wear them outside of cosplay, so maybe them? I don't know. And... The last one, I know you guys are sick of me, 
but it's describe cosplay in three words no more no less so I'm about to get real sappy on you right now my saving grace honestly without cosplay I don't know where I'd be right now I've met so many amazing people I've made my best friends through cosplay and I just I would not be where I am today without them without cosplay without my friends so I am so grateful for getting into cosplay getting to meet these amazing people um Domi and Heather they're just like two of the most amazing people in the entire world and I'm just like forever grateful and because of Domi I got to meet Dion her husband and because of Heather I got to meet so many other people and that are part of her friend group that have become my friends and like those two have like literally changed my fucking life and I consider them family um so cosplay is pretty much everything to me. I love it. It's a way I can be creative. It's a way I can step out of my comfort zone and meet new people and I can just be myself. I can be a big nerd and meet people who like nerdy things and it's just like I don't have to be ashamed of who I am and like it's amazing. So cosplay is my saving grace. Without it, I honestly don't know where I'd be right now. So, yeah. That is my long ass uh, cosplay rewind video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to tag a few people. And the people I'm going to tag are, of course, Domi. Uh, Doku Doku. Doki Doki Daisu. So you better do this. I also tag Heather because she's going to be making a channel soon and uh so I'm gonna tag her in this too whatever her channel is gonna be so Heather hi do this okay thanks bye um also Janelle C I tag you I tag Sir Wondrous Mary Chibi Sime and Sheer Gaming I tag both Kimmy and Jessica so yeah both better do it I expect a joint video from you guys. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you guys so much. If you like this video or like cosplay, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Also, don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you can be notified of every single upload that I upload here on my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and listen to me blab for like three days because... I know I talk a lot. I'm sorry. I talk a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm like really passionate about cosplay, okay? Don't hate me. Okay. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!